guys, Mike here, MoneyMindMarketing.com. Got Carlos Rudlick with What's us. What's happening, guys? So today we're going over budget. Yeah. Budgeting. So how to start your budget or how to start your how to start how budgeting. to budget when you're starting up. Yeah. So how do you budget when you're starting up in a brand new business? How do you do it? Yeah. Well, you know what? It's funny because he's actually the best budgeter or, or whatever it is with your money that I that from anyone I actually know. Um, but I have only one real budget that I always like to have, especially when having a business and you are probably going to want to try this out too, is you want to have a budget for what the fuck fund. It's yeah. a WTF fund. And what that is coincidentally is whenever some shit goes wrong in your business, such as let's say a hacker attacks your website, and knocks it down, it's going to take, you know, 800 bucks to fix. And you're like, Oh my God, I didn't, I don't, now I got to find 800 bucks or yeah. I gotta get, you know, well, it doesn't matter. You got the what the fuck fund. Yeah, take it out of the what the fuck fund because the more time you spend putting out fires, the less time you have for growth and expansion. So you have like a, a five or ten percent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what rate. ours is is five percent for a what the fuck fund. It just gets filtered out there, and then fucking um, if anything goes wrong, you just you send it out, you take it out of the what the fuck fund, and you just keep on operating as if nothing even happened. Yeah, that's a cool, it's an awesome strategy. Yeah. Guys. Another cool thing that I like to I mean I like to get across to you guys when you're starting up business is you don't really want to. Take the money straight from your business. So if you make yeah. three grand in your first month of business, you shouldn't be taking, you shouldn't really take anything in your first three months. You should take yeah. all that money and put it back into marketing, crank out more videos, you know, yeah. just keep putting that money into the loop until the income increases to where you're not budgeting. Yeah. So that's my strategy with budgeting is I don't like to budget. I hate yeah. budgeting. I don't want to be conservative. I'd rather make Increase my income if I need four grand to live on a month. Right. Uh, I'm going to increase my income to fourteen thousand. Yeah. Now I have my bills for four grand, and I have ten grand to mess around with. So yeah. I don't like to budget. It's, so it's that's exactly it. I mean, sometimes people are just so um, so trying, so silly. They always try. Yeah. They say, "I make two thousand dollars. I'll split fifty with the company, yeah. fifty with me." Or ignoring even that, it's just. You, you start contracting instead of expanding. You want to expand as much as possible. Yeah. I mean, even in times of where you feel like you should contract, yeah. that's probably when you should expand. At least from our experience, I mean, you yeah. know this, it's, it's whenever we've been at the closest point of, let's say, losing all sales on a website or a website going down yeah. is not going to work or something, and then, bam, we were just right there. We were like 10 videos away from making real sales, yeah. you know? And it's, sometimes it's not about contracting. It's always about expanding. This whole thing of like overexposure, yeah. this shit is bold. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You can't do that. So you can't try to like but yeah, yeah, I mean, focus on expanding. It's always about expanding. I mean, when you save, like the reason, you know, we're our company, you know, myself, Mike, we always have at least two other people to go with us. Um, we'll have little mini vacations, whether it's to another state, to another country, yeah. a cruise, something. We're always doing they're something. They're always on a budget. But it's on a budget. So they're not on a budget. Or, they're not on a budget. Let's see this reward. They're yeah, not really on a budget, but they are, you know, broke down. Good. They were budgeted in yeah. so we can go on vacation. So the income had to be increased enough to where that little 5% vacation fund is now enough to send us on a vacation. Yeah. So when you do it like that, and I think I have some here that I don't know if you guys can see, but... Picture this as your business. This is not your business, but picture this as your business. You got 100%. So 50% of it is going to go right back into your business, expanding and things like that. And then the other 50% is your payrolls, your what the fuck fund, your vacation funds. And then that, that gives you your percentage. That way, you know, you're essentially budgeting, you're planning for budgeting, but right. you're also planning for your expansion. You want to plan to expand. Yeah. That'll get you to your six months. Now you're not going to be there six months. If you're yeah. taking out, if you're making three to five grand a month to start your business and you're taking two to three grand for yourself. Yeah. You ain't the the you whole ain't thing house. anyway, it's, I hate even the word budgeting because yeah. sometimes the, the whole word, it gives you this image in your mind about contracting and you have yeah. to save your you money because conservative. it's really conservative. And that's not it. I mean, we have our own savings accounts that yeah. we include as bills. So instead of having a $500 light bill, we have a $500 a month uh, travel bill. So yeah. it's still a bill. We're like, oh shit, I have to pay this by the time you assign the deadlines yeah. to it. And so you know, I mean, if you're not hustling, then you really have no room to even be in business. No. But assuming you're already operating at peak performance every single day and going out and cranking sales out and stuff, then I mean, you you've got to be able to set up uh, almost impossible goals with your money. So if you're making a thousand dollars a month, five hundred of that automatically pay towards your savings. And then now you got to figure out another 500 bucks to come up for rent or whatever. Yeah. But if you're hustling, you're going to do it, you know? If you don't, then you're just going to be like everybody else and just be average and be like, well, I'll moderately increase. I'll put like, 
ten dollars yeah. away every paycheck. And what are you going to do with that? You, know? you can always you'll be rich in a hundred years. Tell the difference too, because the people who focus on contrasting, contract, they <laughs> contract. <and better. laughs> they do the. They're typically the people who work the nine to five. Um, yeah. Or continue. They're in that loop of the grind where there's never really enough. And until you get out of that mindset, there's always going to never be enough. Yeah. So. That's, I mean, the budgeting is really dangerous for business. Yes. I mean, you have to have a budget. You have to budget. You have to save money in your business. You have to budget for things. You, the budgeting is good, but to try to contract is no good. I think it's like what, you, what, you, what he's getting at. It's kind of like, it loops back to what we were talking about. Paying your, using it like a bill. You're putting money out there to make yeah. you more money, whether it's, you know, saving it for your travel that you're mm-hmm. going to blow and you don't have to think of money when you go on vacation. You just go party and do whatever you want. Yeah. Or you have um, your your $500 a month marketing expense or whatever it is. Well, you, whatever it is, you just, you always want to keep putting yeah, that money out there. The more you're holding on to it, you're not doing anything. It's going to be gone. Your money's going to be either blown on a McDonald's, a Snickers, a, yeah. you know, a movie theater, a gun, if you're a honeyer, you know, whatever it is, it's going to be blown. And then what are you going to do? Keep hustling? You want to be a hustler that gets recurring income. Make that yeah. money work for you. So you don't want to come first and then worry about going and spending yeah. money. But uh, we, we got, got a bunch coming for you guys yeah, after yeah. the break. Tons of questions for you guys. Um, stay, stay tuned, tuned. motherfucker. Get your uh, your Wheaties and stay tuned. We actually have a yeah. We got subscribe. A, subscribe. We have a we've got actually a, a new sales guy. He started today. He's a he's kind of a buddy of mine, obviously, but he's a he's a student of mine in martial arts. I actually some yeah. of you guys may know I have a mixed martial arts gym, and I trained him in uh, some Muay Thai and Thai boxing and whatnot. And I trained him for about a year, but he got really good super fast. Mm-hmm. And the reason why he got so good is because he. He was the only one who, let's say you tell him to do a thousand right kicks to get good at it, he would do a thousand right kicks yeah. that day. You know, right. he, yeah, exactly. He would just get it, get it, get it. While everybody else was sleeping, watching YouTube videos, this guy was watching YouTube videos and <laughs> doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, really good at the action. In one year, I mean, he became one of the top people, I would yeah. say, out of everyone I've ever trained, one of the top five people, and especially that fast. I mean, it's yeah. very rare to see. Yeah. But anyway. He's got a cool mindset. He's 19 years old. This kid went from Jacksonville to Texas, and it's funny. He's always had the the hustle mindset for the physical stuff, the martial art, but he was lazy as shit, waking up at like noon, yeah. fucking doing nothing other than martial arts. He dropped out of school, I think, when he was like 17 or 16. I mean, this kid is like a rise to riches type kid, working overnight at fucking Walmart. Anyway, his name is Nino Montalvo. Fucking add him on Facebook. Say Carlos Redlake said hi. Anyway. He um he stepped in this question because he's now about to get on the sales calls. Yeah. Um, make a long story short, he called me up saying he's fucking ready to hustle. He wants to do all this shit. He's really now on his money game. I and mean, before yeah. he got really good in martial art, and the reason why is because he was like obsessive over it. Yeah. And now I'm seeing him obsessive over making money, hustling, yeah. motivation, staying positive, staying active, doing. I mean, he's a really good. He's always yeah. trying to interact with people now. Um. And so now he's got his first sales call series. We've been role playing with him on the script and going back and forth with mm-hmm. him, and he's kicking ass. And now he's this test. You know, his goal is to close seven people out of the hundred people, or out of the seventy-five people I think we just sent him. His goal is to close seven of those people. Mm-hmm. And if he does that, he's not only going to quit his job because if he closes seven people, that creates a recurring income. Yeah. You know, for a yeah. year for him. So every month, if he closes a thousand dollars, he's going to get like you know five, six hundred bucks a month from one client. You know, times that by seven, he's gonna yeah. be able to quit his job. That's monthly, every single time. So it's yeah, sick. Yeah. Um, but now his his thing is, he's not necessarily worried about if he can close people. He's dying to close people. Yeah. He's ready. He wants to know now. What do I do? Once I quit my job, you know, maybe he's gonna want to buy yeah. a car or a motorcycle, go travel. I know his big things. He wants to travel. Yeah. So Nino had a question on how do I budget once his little influx of money? Because we know how it is. Yeah. We went from having no money to fucking boom, instant yeah. money because of the hustling actions we've taken. Now that Nino's taking. Yeah. Um, how can he budget to have a really awesome lifestyle where he can travel, make sales calls, meet girls, and all this shit, yeah. and whatever? How does you know? What do you think? Well, how I do you budget? You really like just that? gotta find. Everyone has that you know that income amount that they can live on and whatnot. Mm-hmm. You know, most people don't want to 
the people who are like Nino, they don't want to contract. They're not mm, trying yeah. to live on three grand a month. He's so trying to go. The first thing that he needs to do before he can go travel the world, get girls, get money, all that crazy stuff, is he needs to get on the phone. He can't yeah. worry about call number 100. He can't worry about call number one. He needs to worry yeah. about call number 10,000, call number 100,000. Because when you get to, it's all a numbers game with, the, with everything pretty much nowadays. Yeah. But by the time he gets to 10,000, 100,000, his income level is going to be... You know, ten thousand, sixteen thousand yeah, bucks a month. At that point, you know, he's making more than he's gonna, you know, averagely spend. Yeah. So, I mean, that's my best advice yeah. for him. You want to expand? You it's always you can't try to budget. Don't try to budget. Don't try to budget. Yeah. You're not gonna. You're Don't not budgeting yet. when you go partying and all that stuff. You're not gonna yeah. want to budget. Don't once party. You're so Same you gotta lesson. prepare. You gotta take action now, so you don't have to budget later. Yeah. That's great advice. That's good. It's a little contrary. Some people would tell yeah. you save fifty percent and do all of this stuff. What Mike's saying is, you know what, you're just hustling now. You're starting out. You're 19 years yeah. old. You want to fucking rack it because like, with his yeah. skill set now that he's just developed in sales and yeah. the leads we're getting, I mean, it's impossible for him not to. The biggest thing is the income so, level. And everybody overlooks yeah. the income because they feel that they have to get a job. Yeah. You know, if I asked you a question, um, how do you make money? Yeah. I, how I, is money made? I just go Most ask people her. will say, <laughs> most people will say, hey, me go get a job. Yeah. But that's not that's not how you make money. You don't get it's a job. You sell product. Products in the marketplace get you money, that's right? Right. That's right. The people who create the products in the marketplace hire people for jobs. That's right. So you want to be a boss. your free website promotion you see another commercial in the future if you don't already have a website get the fuck on it a free website so we were talking about uh when we were going on break we were talking about nino a little bit yeah. how to you know how to take charge of your income take, yeah take charge of your own income level raise that thing where do you want your income to be you want to be 10 grand a month yeah. 100 grand some people don't even make go up you know some people i've talked to a few different business owners and that's one thing you have to kind of change. Even the word business owner, you have to transition from business owner to entrepreneur. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when somebody's a business owner, they're basically just the owner of a job. That's all they are. Yeah. The entrepreneur is the hustler, the go getter, yeah. the one fucking making shit happen, the one taking all the risks. Yeah. So you want to be the entrepreneur. And then the other thing you want to figure out is what is the way, the primary way your business makes money, right? So for example, our website and online marketing business, the primary way uh, that we get it is through cold calls. So we know we have our salespeople that go out, bang the phones, and the way we describe it is you're going to war, and yeah. that phone is your N16 rifle that you're fucking sighting in, and you're going through every one of these leads. Yeah. So whatever your N16 is in your business, you've got to know what it is, because you have to be able to put that shit on autopilot or know if, like, I don't have money, i got to do something. You've got to be yeah. able to say, boom, let's grab the guns, yeah. let's go. You know what I'm saying? You need that quick tactic. You've you got to have, yeah, and if you don't have it, you got to figure it out. you got to just keep driving sales. You get two sales, don't stop. Just yeah. keep going. You need 10 sales. You need 100. Yeah. You need you get 1,000. You don't need, you're not done. Yep. You're not done for the day. Developing different ways of making money. You have the ways that are going to trickle in the passive forms of yeah. income within your own business. So you got the hardcore hustle, cold call, mm -hmm. I want your money type sales, which may not be for everybody, but... If it's suitable for your business, yep. add that because you're going to always be able to get yep. money that way. And, right? I mean, and then add your internet marketing, then yep. add your referrals, then add all these other streams, but you've got to have something that you can take full control yep. over that you can be like, I need money today. 
I'm calling 100 people, I'm getting paid. You know, you gotta have something. Yeah. And if you don't, you gotta figure out how to develop that in your yeah. marketplace. And a lot, I mean, that comes back to, you know, Nino's story, my story. A lot of people starting yeah. off, you know, have a nine to five job. You know, they depend on the income, so you can't just step out into that because right. then you have no income. So you actually have to, you know, put in overtime then. You gotta get off of your job and then go put yeah. in work for your business. But the faster you make those calls for your business, the faster you increase the income level, replace that income level, now you can yep. do away with that and you can jump right into what's yeah. the most important things and then you can work on expanding to your streams and all that stuff. Exactly. I mean, take, you guys got to take, take the lessons that Nino has, which is he works overnight at fucking Walmart yeah. and then as soon as he gets out of work after working like six, seven, eight hours or whatever overnight and not sleeping, he goes and bangs out the phone calls because he'll get out at 7, 8 a.m. and he can start calling people at yeah. 9, 9.30 in the morning so he's just going to keep on rolling through and then he's going to sleep for a few hours and do the whole thing over yeah. again. I mean, he's in that part of his phase right now, but you know what that does? That's good. It builds yeah. character, it builds that hunger, and it builds appreciation. Yeah. Even if that's only for a week, then he's going to hustle that way. Yeah. He does that and then he's going to make that first $4,000 a month income. He'll break that little gap. It's always a gap for somebody. It's like, oh, yeah. shit, I hit like 60K a year. Yeah. You know, and then you're like... Whatever. First time you hit, like, you know, 10 grand a month, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. a lot. And then you want to go more. Then you, you want to get to 100 grand. grand. Oh, well, that's what we're trying to it's get It's funny. I was watching, you ever seen Shark Tank? No, I've that seen, I've seen so a Dragon Man, which is like the UK version. I've never seen Shark Tank. Probably one of the shows seen Shark Tank. Yeah. Except for you. Except for like, It's <laughs> funny. There's some old lady on, I don't know what her name is. She's like, she's a famous person. She's really rich. So I think she's a real estate person. Right. And there was contestants in there that uh, their dad owned GameStop. Uh, and uh, so they're really rich. I guess their dad had been earning had two money. million dollars to start a t-shirt company, and she was basically like, her first words were, um, you know, I don't like to invest in in rich people's kids because they don't appreciate the money. Therefore, yeah. I'm out. I'm out. See, out right away, and it's true that the people who you know have to struggle, you have to actually go through that time where you work you got nine to dudes. five, and then you. Worked this other business for four months that paid you nothing. Yeah. But what happens once it catches up? Is it worth the yeah. shit? Just staying in the nine of yep. staying in the trap? Yeah. We've all got any successful person that's made it ultra successful yep. on their own, except you know, they didn't inherit the wealth or anything, but they made it on their own, they're all gonna have the same stories. Mike's got yeah. his story how he did it in Miami and then came to Jacksonville, all this shit. I had mine came from Miami to Jacksonville. I ended up working for fucking free basically for almost an entire year at building one of my gyms. And then I also, on top of that, I had a nine to five sales job, direct sales job, where I did that also. I literally had like three or four hours of sleep every morning. I was waking up at 5 36 and not ending until the gym was done, which was like 9, 9 30 at night. And I did that shit all over again, all over. And I started to eat, you know? Yeah. So it's, everybody's got those stories, but you just gotta, you know, you don't know how close you are to success. Yeah. Most people stop. You can't right feed yourself with right excuses when either. Either. The, You know, the excuses are the worst thing is feeding yourself. Oh, you know, I'm too Maybe tired. Maybe that's what we can go over. Too so tired. In our next episode. Too tired to go over. Be a little bit. Too tired to call the phone. Too yeah. tired to do the video. I don't really want to. It's not going to pay. That is all going to. Yeah, you your business. You can't do any of that. You've so. got to be committed, man. Yeah. You got to be all in. There can't be a plan B. If there's a plan B, then your plan A sucks. You got to get 100 percent committed. Leave budget sitting right here and build the money around that. That's what's up. Check out us in the uh, next episode. What's the uh, What's the next episode? We gotta give them a little tea. Maybe something about fear and overcoming fear and all that bullshit. Yeah, that's that's, that's in the future. That's in the future. We'll get some shit coming up to you guys. But hey, we'll see you guys soon. If you want a free and website next episode coming up, yeah. it's called Hustling. So Hustling, baby. You guys want a free a website? Money. Check out MoneyMindMarketing.com. See you guys on the other side.